to dock. Let's go. About time you showed up. All right, I want to know what's going on. I've been trying to get Delgado's attention for, oh, I don't know, three years now. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when Neva and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, Delgado orders me to help you out. Yeah, I figured you'd say something like that. Just another one of Delgado's loyal little soldiers, huh? Fine, have it your way. So Neva's message said you were here for Dombrowski. Was that all she sent you here to do? Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? Hmm, okay. So why are you targeting a Gall Bank exec anyway? Not exactly your average Crimson Fleet prey. Why the interest? Oh, I see. We're playing this game now. Fine, fine. Well, you might as well turn around and hop back aboard your ship because you're not getting near Dombrowski without my help. Well, well, it appears we have a mind reader here. You're absolutely right. I don't want money. I want back into the Crimson Fleet. It's as simple as that. Fine. You want to play it that way and suit yourself. Dombrowski's a full-timer aboard the Siren of the Stars. Probably spends more time cruising the space lanes than actually working. Fortunately, the Siren is hosting the Tehran Preservation Society charity gala. Larry won't be able to resist showing off his VIP clout. To get what you need, you're gonna have to attend the gala, talk to his fellow philanthropists, and dig up some dirt. <laughs> yeah, well, lucky for you, it's not black tie, so you'll be fine. This card will allow you to access the Starview Ballroom. If you need my help, I'll be relaxing in one of the upper level lounges. Head inside and mingle with the crowd. No one likes Dombrowski, so they'll be more than happy to share his dirty secrets. Now you're speaking my language. Oh, there's one last thing. Dryden equips all of their Starliners with the latest acoustic threat detection. Meaning that you lose patience and kill anyone aboard the ship, security will be alerted and all hell will break loose. Anyway, I suppose that's enough to get you started. Good luck. Oh, and while you're at the gala, avoid the canapes. They're frozen. There's nothing quite like the view from the sky. Every day that I wake up in my bunk, I count my blessings. These newer vessels more or less run autonomously. It doesn't mean much. I certainly, the society chair, and... Yes, he's some kind of a top dog over at Galbank. I heard he replaced someone that was caught running a fake loan scam. Hmm. Well, that was boring. Hello. Are you a member of the society? Pleased to make your acquaintance. 
I don't know why Larry's attending this event. He could care less about any planet, let alone the Earth. Enjoy the rest of the event. Hmm, an open bar would have been nice, but Dryden's gouging us for every credit we've got. Have you tried the canopies? Hori. Dumbrowski is married to some poor woman that he constantly leaves behind in New Atlantis when he goes on his business trips. That's all then? Okay. That view is absolutely spectacular. Here for business or pleasure? I heard he uses Galbank's VIP suite on the Siren of the Stars almost monthly. Does the man ever do any real work? Nice to have met you. So, what brings you aboard? Quite a lovely Starliner. Not quite a lovely Star... The considerable amounts of cash that Dombrowski donates is the only reason we allow him to attend society functions. Don't forget to donate to the cause. Have you tried the canopy? He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time, if you catch my meaning. I'm certain his wife doesn't know a thing about it. That's all then? Okay. Please remember to obey all functions. Sorry, do I know you? Look, I think you're definitely confused here. I really don't have time to have a discussion with you. My partner's waiting for me. He's a very important man. His wife? <laughs> oh, for the love of God. I told Larry to keep his big mouth shut, but did he listen? No! He had to impress his friends and treat me like a trophy. Look, I've been in this business for a long time, and I know how this game works. So let's skip all the banter and get it over with. What's it gonna take to make us both happy? You're willing to pay me to give you dirt on Larry? <laughs> Sorry, I... I thought I'd end up on the short end of the deal. You know, this whole thing really pisses me off. Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits all worked out. And then he goes and flushes the whole thing down the toilet. Oh, angry isn't even the right word. The plan was solid. Larry got together with myself and this other guy, Gabriel Vera. He's some bigwig over at UC Security. I doctored the transactions, Larry wiped them off the system, and Vera kept the legal pressure off of us. We were scamming Galbank for months. It was going well until I discovered Larry was cheating everyone by changing each transaction in his favor before deleting them. I wish I had some. Maybe you should try talking to Gabriel Vera. He should be around here somewhere. If he doesn't want to cooperate, just mention my name. That should grab his attention. Good luck. You're gonna need it. I hope you hurt Dombrowski. Nail his ass. Business or pleasure? Hello. You here for the charity event? Dombrowski. Uh, he's the exec holding court over in the VIP area of the ballroom. Yeah, sorry. I work for UC Security, not Galbank. I don't really know him personally. Claudia sent you, did she? Look, friend, I don't know if you're just a little drunk, maybe a touch crazy, or both. Whatever you think you know about me, you're dead wrong. So back off. Yeah, but before you walk away, 
Let me give you a free piece of advice. Anything you try to report will boil down to your word against mine. And since I work for UC Security, who do you think people will believe? Hello. Are you a member of the society? I saw your little exchange with Vera. Keep that up, and I guarantee that Imbecile's gonna demand that you be arrested. No, it certainly didn't. But at least we know you've caught him on the back foot. There's clearly something going on between Vera, Swiss, and Dombrowski. But we need hard evidence to use it to our advantage. The problem is he's not gonna talk to you in public. We need to get Vera isolated so he'll spill everything he knows. Smart. If there's an emergency, standard practice is for all passengers to clear the decks and report to their cabins for lockdown. I think the best chance we have would be to tamper with the life support sensors. Manipulate a few controls and you can fool the monitoring system into thinking there's a, a life support failure. And there you have your emergency. I have no idea what all of that technical jargon meant, but cause enough confusion and it will buy us plenty of time. One more thing. If Chief Engineer Sundin gives you any trouble, tell him I'll erase that gambling debt he owes me. I prefer you use that as a last resort, but hey, what's the harm in losing a few credits when I'm on the brink of rejoining the fleet, right? Anyway, I better start packing. Things are getting hot around here and... Won't be long before Trident figures out you had help. Remember, the moment you shut down that system, the entire ship goes into lockdown. Pleased to make your acquaintance. The society chair has really... <laughs> Up. This area is off limits to passengers. Wait a second. You're Captain Rokov's guest, right? Didn't expect to see you down here. Sorry to give you trouble. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, sorry. That area is off limits. No exceptions. Ah, you're a fellow techie, huh? <laughs> I can respect that. Tell you what. I'm just going to step out for a bit and stretch my legs. Maybe you can hold this for me while I'm away. Whatever you do, don't break anything.
I was wondering if you were the cause of the shipwide emergency. It's time you stop playing games and tell me why you're here. You're working for Ikande's little anti-pirating outfit? So what? I have nothing to do with the Crimson Fleet. And even if I suddenly decided to stay loyal to the old UC, why would I possibly want to incriminate myself by handing over evidence? Claudia said that. You sure? Damn it! That means my money's already gone. And Dombrowski's going to walk away with a fortune. I'd love to see the bastard fly. But if I give you that information and it falls into the wrong hands, I could end up in jail. At least I walk away with something. All right. You have yourself a deal. Here, with this slate and this recording to tie it all together, you'll be able to nail his ass to the wall. He'll do whatever you want. Just remember that you promised to leave me out of it. You better tell Dombrowski to run. Because if you don't kill him, I will. Excuse me. Would you mind telling me exactly what the hell you're doing in my cabin? Am I hearing you correctly? <laughs> you should mind your manners. Imagine pushing your way into my cabin uninvited and issuing such demands. So the emergency is real then? Oh my goodness, then we must do exactly what the captain advises, of course. Here, give this to him. With my compliments, tell him Sheila Holbrook thanks him for his exemplary service. been accosting Claudia and Gabriel. I'm uncertain what you hope to accomplish here, but it appears we should rapidly enter into some sort of negotiation. Excellent, excellent. So, before we begin, let's review the facts. First, it's clear that you've obtained insider knowledge of my arrangement to defraud Galbank. The means and the method, perhaps, but not the motive. And second, I'm going to hypothesize that my compatriots are despondent regarding their share and have assisted you with this endeavor, hmm? Since we're speaking and I'm not at the reporting end of a bullet, this leads me to conclude that you desire something personal from me. Oh, finally, a fellow intellectual. How refreshing. Allow me to proceed directly to the point. You have compromising materials about me in your possession. The only thing I have to offer in return are my Galbank credentials. I assume that's what you've been angling for all along. Splendid. All it appears we've reached an accord. Wait, I'm sorry. Let me simplify that for you. It sounds like we have a deal. Oh, of course I trust you'll understand if I ask for us to avoid any further contact. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to formulate how I'm going to utterly ruin two very annoying business associates. Good day. The ship is in a state of emergency. Please return to your cabin immediately.
Well, looks like everything worked out. Just like we planned. I'm glad one of us did. I'm just hoping you'll put in a good word for me with Delgado. Otherwise, I'd risk my career for nothing. You know, I'm still wondering exactly what you needed those credentials for. You feel like telling me, partner? Ah, so he told you to keep it from me. I see. I wouldn't want you to risk your position with the fleet like I did, so I'll just leave it alone. Anyway, I suppose there's nothing stopping me from rejoining the fleet now. It's been a long time coming. I owe you one, Dover Beach. The captain has declared a <laughs> Yeah, I'm a bit short in that department Please myself. Your in Perhaps I can pay you back later in some other way. Just look for me on the uh, key, and I'll see what I can do. Well, I suppose this is where we part company. Hopefully the next time we meet, we'll be aboard the key. Our security team would appreciate if you'd please shelter in your cabin during this emergency. Thank you.
Docking cycle complete. Next time you see Bog, tell him to lighten up. Your buddy Rokoff is aboard the key. Told me everything had happened. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on and on. <laughs> now I remember why we kicked his ass out the fleet. Join the club. You get a free poster and a Dakota ring. Cut the shit, Neva. Well, since you're not vouching for Rokoff, I am going to tell him to leave. For good this time. All right. Now that is out of the way, we can move on to the matter at hand. Crix's legacy. Speaking of which, let me see that data you copied from the Galbank archives. Ah, so the Galbank transport went down over Bannock 4. Bannock. Why does that sound familiar? Neva? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on. I'm looking it up. And... I... Got it. Bannock 4. Let's see. Damn it. Bannock 4 is an EM class gas giant. You can't even get a ship near the thing without frying every circuit aboard. Yeah, Rook. Just like every other time we've gone on this worthless treasure hunt. Both of you shut up and think for a second. I'm sure Creeks hit the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how he got around it. This sounds like a goddamn waste of time to me. That's the spirit, Rook. That is the essence of the Crimson Fleet that has been slipping away lately. Neighbor, the Galbank data says the transport had a CBR-27 transponder. Can we track that kind of thing? Pinpoint its exact location? That transponder is military grade. We're talking ultra bit encryption, constantly reshuffling frequencies. We don't have shit like that laying around. But before you get that pissy look on your face, I heard that the UC has been working on a ship signal decryption system called the comm spike. We grab that little beauty and we'll be able to track anything you want. All right, here is the plan, so shut up and listen. Rook, I want you and Neva to put your heads together and get us that comm spike. I don't care if it's mounted at the top of mast. I want it. In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comm spike with Jazz, and I'll point us in the right direction. Yeah? Well, I got news for you. You're no damn picnic to work with either, so deal with it, Rook. All right, that is enough. We are in arm's reach of Crix's legacy, and I don't have time to deal with this kind of bullshit. Now, both of you, get the hell out of here and get to work. All right, let's get this over with. Follow me. If you need a credit, hit up the mission boards at the core.
All right, let's get right to it. Did you get the Earth Savior Award, or I'm not going to be very disappointed. Well, well, look at that. You followed my directions, and now you're going to end up with some credits in your pocket. That about does it, then. A hell of a deal for both of us, I'd say. Anyway, here's your cash. Keep this up, and I might even start respecting you. All right, Flea. We've all got work to do. So let's Always knew we could pull this off. Now that you have all the artifacts, we should talk. Solid docking job there. Nice work. Operations does good work. So I heard there was a bit of excitement on the Siren of the Stars. Your handiwork, I assume? Yes, and I heard there were no casualties. Excellent work. Except for the ecliptic hit squad that you took down at the Archives. I'm taking care of that mess, by the way. Speaking of which, I assume you copied the information from the Galbank's computers. Let me see what you've got. So the legacy went down at Bannock 4. Bannock 4. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar, Doft? Bannock 4 is an EM-class gas giant, sir. There isn't a ship in the fleet that could safely get near that type of world. Good. That should slow them down for a while. Look. I spent all day listening to those idiots running in circles. Are you telling me I don't know my own job? All right, calm down, Lieutenant. Even if Delgado has an immediate solution to the EM problem, there's still the matter of tracing the Legacy's transponder signal. They have information about the comm spike? Damn it. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that device, sir. No, you shouldn't be familiar with it. It's a highly classified project. It's an advanced signal decryption and tracking device that the UC Navy's been working on for years. How the hell did the Crimson Fleet find out about that? There must be an information leak somewhere, sir. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'll see what I can find out. Fine. This is what we're going to do. You keep playing along and go after the comm spike. Lieutenant Toft and I will see what we can find out about Bannock 4. Perfect. Just stick with the plan and we'll see who gets to Krix's legacy first. <laughs> 